Well, Matthew Trevino is one of today's most sought after young bases. He was in Omaha was about a year and a half ago yes. for Rigoletto. Yes, sir. There we have it. He joins Opera Omaha again, this time for the Girl of the Golden West coming back to the Orpheum Theater. Mm -hmm. Matthew is here alongside Dinyar Vanya. Good to Hi, see both of you this morning. Nice to see you again and nice to, to meet here. you. So the Girl of the Golden West, right? What's this That's about? It. Well, it's a, uh, I mean, uh, you have an opera here with the uh, plot line that's quite unusual. Quite I think. unusual, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nobody dies. That's, a very <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's right. Yeah. Where do we get very the odd. drama then? Yeah. If nobody's kicking the bucket. It's a complex kind of story in a sense that there's no real good person. There's no bad guy. There's a whole lot of people in this mining town in the old west and it's a basically a how you live your life kind of story mm -hmm. and it uh, turns out to be a love story which is great and the couple actually ends up together and they go off into the sunset together mm -hmm. as as you do in the classic sense and a, and a very yeah. complex um like he says no good or bad yeah. guys but every character is very deep and complex and you have a um a story that's set in the old west so you also have the beautiful scenery, the cowboys, the, you know, we get to wear, you know, our hats and our yeah. dusters and our, yeah. our little Perfect. pistols in the side. And it's a, <laughs> it's sort of a Clint Eastwood meets uh, uh -huh. Puccini right. here. So like you know? Those <laughs> elements that we would expect yeah. out of a classic Western film, you're bringing those to the stage, but then it's an Italian opera. Mm -hmm. um, so what are, your, what are your characters? How do they relate either to one another or to the story? Mm -hmm. Well, my character's name is Ramirez, but he's a professional criminal, so to speak. And he goes by an alias Dick Johnson uh -huh. for most of the opera. And uh, Matt's character's name is Ashby. Ashby, and I'm a Wells Fargo agent uh, yes. who's hunting this he's guy. He's hunting me, uh -huh. the, whole, yes. the whole opera. Yeah. He's the bad guy, I'm the good guy. So uh -huh. yeah. what, what year is this set in? 1910? Um, or no, oh, around uh, that. It was written in 1910. I would say late 1800s. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. 1800s. Yeah. yeah. So, it, it, we're talking about this as being a good one for first timers and I always want to do that open up the world of opera to people mm -hmm. who think it's not really for me that's a little too yeah. highbrow too fancy right. I don't know that I'm gonna get it why do you think this is a good one for people who've never seen opera before it's a great story and there's not a boring moment in it um, from start to finish there's lots of action lots of storytelling lots of beautiful music mm -hmm. yeah, right really, through the entire thing we really yeah. spent a lot of time honing the characters really getting this incredible drama out of it, but they're having a lot of fun again. You'll see that those elements of a Western from these guys just having fun and a yeah. good time playing cards to big bar fights to yeah. drama. Yeah. And again, on top of it, along with all of that incredible music <laughs> right. of Puccini. Yeah. You know, so. the yeah, there you go, yeah. There you go. Oh. Um, but, you know, but Mary brings up a good point. First time opera goers, what, should, what can they expect uh, um, from, from this experience as, as people who are new to the opera? Well, you'll expect the unexpected, I think. So that's the great thing about going to opera, I think, for a first timer, is it's just unlike any experience you'll ever have. You'll like, see incredible theater, you'll see great acting and beautiful sets, the amazing opera Omaha, the Omaha yeah. Symphony. The mm -hmm. Omaha Symphony is and, spectacular. And you'll hear they great tenor singing incredible high notes, <laughs> this guy right here. Which is what everybody he was getting uh, beat up on pretty bad in that video, though. I was beat up pretty good right there. This yeah. is yeah. after I caught yeah. him, of That's course. That's after he catches me. <laughs> I yeah. catch him and I turn yeah. him over to the crowd and I say, give him hell. You know, um, so yeah. Yeah. That video was from rehearsals here in mm. Omaha as, as you're preparing. Oh, how much time do you spend um, when you come into a city like this? You know, we have two mm. performances coming, but it takes yeah. days worth of work to get ready for it. It's about a month of time from start to finish and we probably spend good six to seven hours a day mm -hmm. straight in rehearsal and for those six or seven hours we probably spend about six or seven months wow. in prep in our, to, own, prep, in our own preparation sure. and, the, and the you roles. performed with opera Omaha before didn't you? uh yeah i have uh, matt and i actually met last year doing a rigoletto here we just we did an interview with him matt, if you want to go to the right. cam tv um yeah. go to our website or go to the youtube channel and search it out you were sitting in like this gold throne i know i felt <laughs> that was that, uh, yeah. yes. did you see it you're like i was that was my chair he was production that was awesome you performed around the world which i think when you say kind things about the professionals here in Omaha, um, oh we, we listen to it because of the perspective that you have as an artist. It's fantastic, and I, I yeah. think Dinyar can attest to that. Absolutely. It's mm -hmm. coming into towns like this and, and amazing companies like in Omaha. You not only do you meet, I mean, not only do you have incredible mm -hmm. musical experience because it's one of yeah. the, the the top opera companies in the country, mm -hmm. but there are just incredible down home people from yeah. the chorus 
who are all local, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, to the yeah. to the great production staff, and um, it's just been a pleasure. It always has, always is. It's great to be back. Always. Yeah, and yeah. this production, the girl of the Golden West, it's sung in Italian, right? It's in Italian. It is in right. Italian. So, are yeah. there? How do people understand it? Are there subtitles? How we have projected English supertitles. So every word that everybody says is going to be translated for you. You're going to get the absolute total story. You're not going to miss anything mm -hmm. if you come see. So yeah. you continue to rehearse between now and mm -hmm. next Friday, yeah. uh, which is the, the first yeah. show. So let's show you some information about this. So mm -hmm. you've got performances here Friday and then one on <laughs> Sunday, That's the right. 14th on Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Perfect gift for your great one. Thank yeah. you for taking the bait on that because yes. I thought the same. A very romantic night. Maybe have dinner downtown and Guys, then go to a listening, show. Guys, if you really want to score some Tickets. Points, you're not getting it. dinner for $19 <laughs> a piece. We know that on Valentine's <laughs> that's right. Day, but that's exactly where ticket prices start for the Girl of the Golden West. You can call to get tickets, or you can log on to TicketOmaha.com. There's information about that online. Yeah, Matthew, thanks for stopping in. Danielle, good to see yes, you as well. Yes, nice to meet you. Too. And I'm sorry, it's just a standard old couch this that's time. That's all right. We'll still, the throne. I still have the kingly experience, so thank you. <laughs> thank you. Better lighting <laughs> in here, right? Better lighting. <laughs> thanks, guys, for coming. Hey,